throughout football history, wise men have congregated to bring you the best stats, predictions, and analysis of the game. These are not those men. Three derelict Oakland Raiders fans expelled from clown school for shaping inappropriate balloon animals at children's birthday parties and borrowing the school clown car to attend a Murphy's Law gig in Brooklyn. With no ambitions outside of rodeo barrel racing and the Shiner Circus, they made their way to the rolling hills of northwestern New Jersey and established a home at the Irish Cottage Inn. Surrounded by Jets and Giants fans, they called in reinforcements and established a circus sideshow of their own, known as the New Jersey Chapter of the Black Hole. Join the party each week on the Fan Club Blitz, a wild ride into the world of die-hard football team fan clubs from across the globe with your hosts, Splatterhead, Fitz, and Tom. Clown School Rejects. Alright, Fan Club Blitz, Splatterhead. Fitz, hey, sounds um, good. And we Those are good. Welcome to the Fan Club Blitz, Splatterhead. Tom Fitz. And we got pot standing here. Too. Oh, that's a pot yeah, standing yeah. here. Sup? And uh, what's going on, guys? A lot of, lot of moving and shaking in yeah. the Raider world, huh? Yeah. Since we last no. talked to you. Yes. Yeah. We told everybody. I heard we got yeah. Switzer back. Very. <laughs> yeah. We told. Barry. Wait, 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 wait. I have a question. You're not wearing your sock, are you? <laughs> <laughs> and that's a way to start off the show, ladies and gentlemen. That didn't take long. He didn't get his beefy. I don't uh I don't have one of those. Oh, okay. okay. Now, I, I just I, have I, I, I could have swore on another podcast I, have, I heard you did have a I concept. have two pairs of socks. <laughs> I, I have two socks. I only wear the one Raider sock when I watch games. <laughs> I, uh, listen, I heard the I'm, other one goes on when you cross the road. Uh, no, yeah, that's <laughs> that's my <laughs> That's my fun little joke. Sorry, Murph. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> blame Ken Cruz. <laughs> yeah. Blame the wolf pack. Yeah, blame yeah. the wolf pack, man. <laughs> those guys are uh those guys are gonna be on this uh show. Okay. Yeah. Look nice. forward to that. Yes. Well uh you guys maybe Fitz can talk to them about wrestling. There you go. Uh, yeah. unless, unless they talk about old time. That's about it. They they do. Okay. They talk about some of the old time stuff. All these youngsters. I don't yeah. know. I seen some I seen some meme yesterday and it had Ric Flair where it said woo and it had the other half of the Wu Tang thing it said Tang. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's pretty funny, man. I was like, Yeah, okay. I, I understand that wrestling reference. So So what I gotta what I gotta say, I think my favorite part of this uh off season and you know, getting uh, our signings and free agents and whatnot is how all of a sudden Every died hard loyal Pittsburgh Steelers fan is basically saying that Tenny Brown was the crappiest receiver in the history of football. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah <laughs> Suddenly yeah. how that just happened overnight. Yeah, now yeah. he's now he's just the yeah, worst. Exactly. <laughs> they lost yeah. The damn yeah. yeah. Other than Larry Fitzgerald, he's the only one that can challenge Jerry Rice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but he sucks now. He's only yeah. the best receiver in the game yeah. right now. But so it's all because of Roth- Rottenberger. Yeah, yeah, it's all because of Roethlisberger, yeah. Yeah. of course. Yeah. 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 yeah, he's not the problem. You you have the best receiver in the game and arguably the best running back that don't want to play for an organization is that that's in the playoffs and contending for a Super Bowl every year. What's yeah. the problem? It's not them. There's a there's a bigger problem yeah. with STEM in here. Well, see, I, I do have a major problem with crap that was going on. We were all in on Burfett or Burfitt or whatever the hell's name is. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Yeah. At the same time that Justin Houston was out there and we weren't even sniffing around him. Now... Justin Houston is a monster, and he's not a problem child. You're, you're right. And he puts up 15, 18, 20 sacks a year. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. And Kansas City let him go because they didn't want to pay him the money. Yeah. But didn't and they let him go right after we got perfect, though? No, I think before. He was out there. He was a free agent. Bef- he was free at a free agent at the time. But maybe we didn't want a Kansas City chief. Um. Well. Ma- or, or who knows what the, what you know. You know. He, I think Mayock is out there putting the feelers out. Yeah. They're all talking. So you know, I you know, I get the one year deal. You know, obviously Justin Houston would have required more than one year. Right. But still for what he signed for, I 
forget who he signed with. Indianapolis was far less than, you know, Mackey and Miller and all those other guys. Mackey's playing? Bill, Bill Mackey. Mackey. Bill, Bill Mackey. Mackey, yeah. Ah, nice. You know, but, you know, we could have easily afforded him. So, yep. you know, and he's a monster. Listen, I, I agree yeah. with you, and I, I've said it in whatever on Facebook post. Listen, I, I'm good. Listen, we got him. We got perfect. I'm good. Yeah. Until yeah, he I'm starts. Good with that. I yes. just I don't want him to cost us games with his bullshit. Exactly. That's all. That's all I'm concerned about. Exactly. I love the hard hits. Yes. It's not the seventy. Listen, I I hate penalties. I mean, as much as I like the hard hits, and I I just I, I just I hate taking the penalties. I hate taking the. 15 Last thing yards. we need is another Bruce Irvin. Right. Last thing. We right. Need. Right. You know, listen, like, 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 uh, waving your hands at officials. You that know, come on. exactly, like Chuck brought up a good point. I agree. Like, if he, hey, if he, what are those hits he gets suspended for? If he takes out Mahomes for a season, good. good. Okay, I'm good with good. that. I'm happy with I'm, that. But I'm that, good with that too. But in the grand scheme of things, I'm more concerned about, like you said, waving the hands, a yeah. 15 yard, you know, just because the, they the come BS at bad times. Stuff. Yes, the they BS come stuff. At bad times. And, I'll, and, I'll take the 15 yarder, and, and we kicked out of the game if we take a player out. I'm good with that. And yeah. we all know how fair the officials are with the Raiders. Yeah, exactly. So this yeah. guy's going to be watched like a, yeah. a hawk. They're going to have yeah. they're going to bring in an extra official just to watch him the whole but, game. But yeah. I I agree with what Pot said with this. It, it definitely has a lot to do with Gunther. Yeah, yeah absolutely. The, yeah. This, and and this guy's, you know, his Pro Bowl years, you know, his first two seasons, he was good, and that was with Gunther. Yeah. Did, did you guys watch the, the 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 interview with him? With like that was the main reason was Paul. That was like that was the huge thing. Well, that and it, that and and his his you know his brother's been asking when he's going <laughs> to sign with the Raiders since yeah. he's been signed. And you know? and, yeah. and like they're uh, from California. They, and, you yeah. Know. And and Perfect said right out. He goes, I know the defense. I don't have to study it. Yeah. It's I know the whole every nuance about the defense. I know it. Yeah, great. He now goes, it'll turn out to be another Bruce Irvin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, Paul. <laughs> Paul Miller over there. Well, I don't think he's. I don't think he's anything gonna. I don't think he's gonna be anything Sorry, like Bruce Irvin. But uh, I think it'd be a little bit better. Yeah, I. I yeah, but, but but Tom, I mean, you're old school. You you, you gotta love yeah, it. If, I if don't he, like anybody that says I don't have to do anything because I already know what's happening. No, 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 no. It's it's not that he didn't say it like that. But it's like. You like I, I like the fact that he hits hard. Yeah, uh, that's what I. Hey, like. man, I love all that crap. I love, uh, you know, s- him smashing people in the head. I love the cheap shots that he gets away with, <laughs> you know. But like Fitz says, if you're gonna do dumb <laughs> at a bad time in the game, that's that's the bad. It's thing. gonna kill us. And a yeah. lot of times he did that to the st- to the Bengals. But it's the Bungles. Yes, so. <laughs> but still, you know, there was times he did dumb crap, and it cost them. But, yeah, yeah, and like you know, and they were an up and coming team when he did dumb crap too. And and the other you thing, know, so I'm not against the guy. Yep. You know, keep your nose clean. You know, you break Mahomes in half. Great. <laughs> yeah. You know. You know. It's, or Flacco. Or Flacco. You know, or, or, or Flacco. The statue that's Flacco. Nobody cares about Flacco. Who's the idiot in San Diego with the nine kids? The Mormon Rivers. 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 Break his leg. Yeah, he you know, can't move. I don't care. Kill those two guys. You know. I I think he'll be okay. And it, like the the deal is like perfect though. It's one yeah. year, five mil. Yeah. It's like, really? Like you know. Yeah. Justin I, Justin I, Houston was what I, two I, years, fifteen. I I agree with the deal, but you know, in the grand scheme of things, Justin Houston would have fit us better than him. Did you? Hey. You know what I'm saying? To go off topic a little bit, did you see Mike Mayock at uh, Josh hey, Allen's hey, uh, hey, hey. thing? We don't go off topic on this show. I know. Yeah. And, no, no, I mean, we're, this we're, show we're is like, always we're like, right on topic. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. uh, did you see him at uh, uh, Josh Allen's uh, pro day? No. From uh, the defensive end from Kentucky? Like, you know Reggie McKenzie wouldn't have been doing it. He's down on the ground, low on the ground with the stopwatch and just, like, watching him very closely. And then they took him out to dinner that night. You know they're going to – if he falls to number four, they're going to draft him first. You, you, he's, he's a great Here's what rusher. I think about their fourth pick. It, it, it's, it's, it's defense. Right? right? Listen, you have a team that plays 45 minutes from here that is desperate to get a quarterback, and they don't think they're in position to get a quarterback. You take our fourth pick. Tell the Giants – Give us Barkley. We'll give you the fourth pick so well, you can get your quarterback. And, then, and we now we have six. Shaquan Barkley, Antonio Brown, that Derek he- that Carr. That heavy breathing is Chris Potts holding right? the microphone too close to his mouth. The only, the only problem with that you know, is... And, and then 
down in the draft, we could take a couple of those Clemson problem children that were monsters in college because they'll probably drop that far because people are scared of them. Well, absolutely. Listen, I, I love I loved that whole scenario. The, the, we actually – We got Barkley. The only problem with that, that is – That tilts the, the, the entire – Oh, that, that's – the only, the only problem with that is they might. is listen they we might. have we have a, a Jets Raiders game that we're hosting tailgate yes. this year. If that trade happens, they're gonna burn the stadium down. The Giant fans are actually gonna burn <laughs> Giant Stadium down. We're we're gonna be without a game to to host. So, now we'll play at Rutgers. Then we'll play then we'll, then we'll play at Rutgers or Yankee Stadium or something. I mean, I'm just letting you know. Like, yeah. <laughs> We'll play at the uh, the Red Bull Stadium. You know, you know. But, if, and listen, if, if if Johnny and, and, and Maylock are like worth their salt, because you know, I think Reggie would inquire about something like well, that. Well, listen, it, once he once he seen once he seen the Beckham deal, I think Reggie would have been on the phone like, "Hey, we got the fourth pick." Give us as as crazy as you know, it, it's not crazy to us. As crazy as that would sound to a Giants fan. It does make a lot of sense because, you know, you got to figure this is going to be Eli's last season. They want yes. a new quarterback. Yes. You know, the lifespan of a running back in the NFL is, what, four years? Yeah. They, By the yeah. time they break yeah. in a yeah, new – Yeah, four to seven years. Yeah. yeah. By the time they break in a new superstar stud quarterback, Saquon's – he's going on a down. Yeah. yeah. So, and listen, let's face it. I mean, the guy is a freak, but you every, every second year you're picking up a great running back out of college. Well, so – the Raiders have serious draft capital. You know, that's I would yeah, love to exactly. see it happen. Something like that. Yeah. I would love to see it happen. A four, you give up our four pick for him. That is a steal considering oh. he went what two last yeah. year. Yeah. And what's great though? <laughs> and what's great? And you know what? I want to. The one reason I want it. Know, two that, reasons. That, you know, people would be going, "Who's Kansas City?" The, the, the best part. Two reasons I want to see this go down. One, it it, it puts us in the Super Bowl. <laughs> one. Close. The second, I want to watch all jerk off Raider fans all going. What about the defense? About yeah, no, we have the best running back and the best receiver in the game right now, and we want yes. to do anything with the defense. Yeah, exactly. Now, would you go for the Barkley? Are we swapping picks too? Or are we taking their sixth? What are they? Six pick? Or are they going to keep their six? Keep their six. Yeah, I don't care what they do with yeah. their. It, 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 no, I'm just saying. No, it, it, if they're trading this Barkley for our fourth pick, they can keep their six pick because they ain't going to make a crap. I, I look at it this way. The, and then we still two have still have like I said, we still have two first round picks. Defense. Clemson had a monster defense. Defense and they and something's going they, on with Tom's mic. But they had those problem children on the line. They even got suspended for that one bowl game before the national champion. And you know they're gonna drop down in the draft. So we still have first round picks to grab that. But I say to everybody, I go, defense is so deep in the draft. Like like even when me and you talk, Chuck, about the draft. The draft is like well, that's crap, what I crap mean. shoot anyway, but defense, but defense wise, is deep this year. Yeah, so like even if they do decide to trade away their yeah. fourth, I'm not going to be mad about that. But but you, you look at the Raiders running back situation. You have beast mode. Now if they're in Oakland, will probably play one more year. You know, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. And l unless he has a phenomenal year, then it probably might. Then I'm sure he'll transition to Vegas. Yeah. Um. You have. What Chris Warren the third? Well, you this know? is going to be his rookie year, so we'll we'll yeah, see. Yeah, you know yeah. he's unproven. You know you have uh, Doug Martin. You know old Dougie's on his last legs. Yeah, you he, know, I mean the, the last played his ass off for the last five games. Oh yeah, right. he did. Hell yeah, no he complaints did. there. No. Hey man, you know guy can still guy can still do it if you give him the tools to do it. Yeah, but can. if you could trade your number one pick. Or number four pick for Shaquan Barker. Dude, <laughs> I, I know we love to break news here on uh, that, that, that fan club. That would be, like, phenomenal. We love to you break know. the news here on Fan Club Blitz, but that would be, like, that would be such a crazy uh, I, I, That's That is a power shift in, in the league. I mean, right and, that, and then when you look at it, like, now we're saying there's no excuse for Carr. That's really no excuse for Carr. Exactly. Like, yes, yeah, now he doesn't. Yeah, it was no excuse. You know. He had Eli as a quarterback and no offensive line, and the dude still rushed for fifteen hundred yards. I mean, exactly. right, right, and caught eight hundred yards. There, a pass. There's already no excuse for Carr next season. Yeah. He's got yeah. the best hands in yes. the league. Uh, arguably, if you, you you know, there may be there may be other receivers, you know, Jones, Beckham, but he's got Antonio Brown has the best hands. But those, yeah. period. Those three yeah. guys that they got, they have Antonio Brown. They have Terrell Williams, and they got uh, the kid from Arizona. What's what's his name? Um, I don't know. He super fast. They, they they all stretch the field. 
all of them have hands. So now it's like you got three wide receivers that can catch the ball and run. Yeah. I, I mean, no one's ever seen Antonio Brown like that before because, like, he does stuff on the field like he gets open every time, no matter if they're number one corners on them on him. Yeah. So I mean, I mean his what his <laughs> sl- his slow day is like what eighty yards maybe or something like you know I mean. Well, anyway, that's my yeah. wish list. <laughs> All right. Well, that's enough football for now. Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, what are you drinking here, Chuck? Um, I'm drinking a. I'm not drinking anything because I finished it. Somebody's gotta get me a beer. I'm drinking a, a Sigmeister Blacksmith Stout, Good. another Jersey uh, beer. Yeah. I like them. I like that stout. That's a Hackettstown brew. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Now, there's a lot of beer being made over by Hackettstown. Yeah, it's that's, only, that's uh, like a brewery hotbed over there. You know, yeah, it's that's a, a, you know that, that's why Potts lives over that way. Yeah, yeah. he you doesn't know, bring us any. Potts, he can, tra- yeah. Potts uh, he can travel 10 minutes and go to three breweries. It's yeah. a it's an oatmeal stout, and it's only 5.5%, you know, typical nice. good stout. It's, it's a, not it's an drinkable. imperial. Very drinkable. Yeah. Yeah, we're drinking a lot of dark beers today. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah, I got actually. Potts, I, get me something different. <laughs> Uh, doesn't I want anything first? Hey, can you see? Let's see. I got. Uh, I think me, me, me and Tom here yeah, are drinking me, the same me, thing. Me and Fitz are drinking this. I think Potts is too. Yeah, uh, Arnold's Tavern Porter out of uh, Denville Fort Nonsense Brewing Company. Very good. Yeah, that's I brought those. Yeah, those milkshake IPAs. You, you want to bring a couple of those over? Okay. Yeah, Fort Nonsense. You know they're a little family-run brewery. You know they're not big. You know they're on Route 10 down there in Denville. You know, yeah, every awesome. time I've been by there, they've been closed. Potts has been there. They're in Denville? So, Denville. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Right around 10. Nice. So. Good. So 5.1% alcohol. It's, it's a good porter. It's good, though. I like, I like it. it. Very, yeah. It tastes good. Very good. Yeah. All right. Well, and uh, you guys, all three of you are drinking those. I'm going to crack another. Delicious. <laughs> you know, I crack something else Chuck, here. Just cracking something called Smoothie Shop. Yeah. Smoothie Shop. Let's see what this Shabine looks like. I got this. Brewery this is or a, something. Yeah, this is also something we're going to. Review. Yeah, so everybody knows we have another we're, we have another podcast coming out called Inebra Nation. Right now, you can follow us on Facebook and uh, Instagram. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know. We should be up and running yeah, hopefully next know, month. There's, you know, there's no be... football, but there's a lot of booze, beer, food, music. Yeah, and then and whatever and else. You know, kind of like, like our football. Yeah, podcast. The, other, the other part of it, I can't say because we're on. Murph's network, so. But, you know, there's people that, you know, Raiders fans that probably get tired of us going off the rails. Uh, you yeah. know, they're trying to listen to some serious uh, Raiders uh, conversation. Yeah. yeah. And we, uh, we, you know, we, what, you mean, we veander off course a little yeah, bit. They're not happy. And, 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 not happy. And, listen, this is a it's football. It's not even football season. Listen, this no. is a football podcast. But, but they're we, not happy with 30 seconds of football talk. But, but, but we, we also have a lot of fans that enjoy even in season. Right. us <laughs> talking about booze, we food, do. beer, and music. <laughs> and 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 for those people and, and for, those people, and for st- people who aren't yes. Raiders fans, we're doing the other show, kind of yes. like what the guys at Pillaging Podcast did when they yeah. they started the Crow's Nest, which is yeah, they talk about music and beer yeah. and pop culture and yeah, and we're not big on pop culture. No, you know, no. We'll, just, we'll tell you what we think of pop culture. Yeah, but we're not big on so. Beer. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna. Uh, I'll, Chuck's drinking a milkshake. Milkshake IPA. IPA. It's got a hell of a head on it, and it's... Uh, He's drinking it out of a Cape May Brewing Company pint glass. It's got a... Who makes this? Shabine. Who is this? I can't even Shabine. read that. Shabine? Where are they from? Connecticut. Connecticut. They can't drive in Connecticut. <laughs> no. It's terrible. <laughs> To be make some you want because they have too much construction. Would you, would you come out here to, to the Jets game, people? If you want to see some <laughs> weird stuff, just take a drive <laughs> in Connecticut. Connecticut yeah. <laughs> they like stop in the middle of the road to make a right off, yeah. you know, to to exit the the highway. They'll just stop, yeah, yeah. and then they'll turn. It's yeah. very bizarre. Yeah. What, what I love it. Any, any Raiders fans yeah. coming out here, you know, if if you want like a good tour of Connecticut, just uh, you know, hit up Just Win Johnny. Yeah, he'll uh, put you up at his house. He'll take, and, yeah, he'll, uh, yeah, he'll he'll yeah. he'll tour the state with you. Share you a know. sleeping bag with you. Yeah, he'll yeah. share a sleeping bag with you. He'll yeah, Johnny's a great guy yeah, like Johnny, that. Johnny, if you cool ask guy, him nicely, he'll he'll give you a bath. You know, yeah. kind of yeah. scrub your back yeah, exactly, and everything for you. Man. Yeah, you know, get the whole nine yards. Get the whole yeah. Royal yeah. Connecticut treatment exactly. with him. Yep. Yeah, yeah, hit up yeah. Just Win Johnny, Johnny, man. He'll introduce you to all the great hardcore guys up there in Connecticut. What I love about Connecticut is the best food. Connecticut, they've been doing road work on some of those roads for about like 28 years now 
Yeah. Same spot. Well, yeah, like 15. <laughs> yeah. Had, yeah. It's like the same same spot. It's about 28 years. It's yeah. been, they, they're still not done. Yeah. Yeah, but Johnny will take you to a hardcore show. He'll show up with guys from the wrong crew that <laughs> night. It'll, you'll have a blast, man. Yeah. Yeah, look awesome. up Just Win Johnny, man. <laughs> Just Win Johnny will hook you up. Man. We love you, Johnny. Out. Yeah, we love Good. you, brother. He was going to come today. Uh, but, uh, oh, that would have been cool. He's got a sore throat, so uh, I told him, keep that crap away yeah, from exactly. us. You keep- <laughs> so, so I got to say, it's really nice. It tastes, uh, it's good. Yeah, okay. it's good. It's uh, it's milkshake. It's got okay. just a little hint of, like, milkshake. Okay. okay. But it's, it's, it's good. Cool. Yeah. So now, not getting back to football. So it's you know we, we had this whole um, well Chuck had more of a back and forth with his his friend who's a Pittsburgh Steeler fan, who I, who I still believe is I don't know I think his mom might have dropped him the, out of the crib when he was a baby. Oh, the guy with right. the wood the wood paneled LTD station wagon. Yeah, you know he's oh, okay. the one you know his brother's normal. Yeah. He's a Raider fan. Well, I don't oh, know I, about I, that. I would, well, I no, wouldn't go that far. You know, listen, as normal as... Listen, <laughs> his it, brother it, was on the spectrum, too, man. Listen, <laughs> it, you're, don't read too... Listen, you, now you're reading into me. Now, when I say normal, I mean he's not a Steeler fan, okay? As Bill Mackey did point out when they were in high school, their nicknames were Heckle and Jekyll. And yeah. But yeah, the uh, I can see Mackey shooting him with spitballs. For you, for you local he, people who might be listening, we are talking about the Reinman brothers, yeah. yes. the, the Reinman <laughs> twins. You all know who they are. Who was it? Pete's the uh, Steeler. Pete, yeah, Pete's Pete. the Steeler fan. Jerry's the okay. Raider. Okay, so fan. so he, you know, he's one of the Steeler fans that you know Antonio yeah, Brown's the worst receiver ever in football. Blah 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 blah. Ben Roethlisberger, you know, the, the second coming of the greatest. You know, he's Johnny Unitas, and Joe Montana all rolled into one. You know, with a rape kit. With you a know. <laughs> so, but, so there's a little bet here now. Uh, I think if uh, what is it? If the if the if the Raiders win out, if they beat win our division, he'll come to a game wearing a Raiders jersey. Yeah. Listen, as much as I'd love I to see that happen, I took a screenshot of that. I, I know. I, I I love it in principle. I, I just I it's I don't want to see that moron wearing a Raiders jersey. No, I'm gonna really the, I'm gonna pick the jersey. I'd, ra- I'd rather just, I'd, just, co- just come wearing a dress or something. I'll pick just the jersey. I'll get him a Jamarcus Russell jersey. Okay, he can wear better. that. But still, just him wearing a ra- it just it's just so it's, yeah, marijuana. Marijuana bitch. Oh, his, that poor guy. His, his brother can lend him a damn jersey. <laughs> he's, uh, he's, still, he's still skateboarding and doing meth in California. Oh yeah. Yeah, I, I just I would just rather see him instead of desecrating the silver and black. I'd like to just see like just make him come to the cottage wearing like a dress or yeah. something. You know, you know, he, I'd say he'd get kicked out of his Pittsburgh fan club, New Jersey picks, but he that's his family, so they really can't kick him out of the house. That, that's the entire Pittsburgh nation hey, up here. I'll, I, I'll tell you what, Steeler I'll nation. tell you what, Pete. If we win our division, I'll get you an Obama hat. You can wear that. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Oh, that, I know. I know you're a big fan of him too. Yeah. So that 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 might actually get him killed up here. <laughs> it might. It might. <laughs> yeah. <know>. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I say we take a break and uh, we'll uh, we'll come back and uh, we got we got beer to look at and yeah. we'll come back and talk to the wolf pack. So, so, I don't know where the hell I'm at. You, know, you just, don't, you I'm just about dove to, into the pool with no water like the rest of us. I'm yeah. about to tell you where you're at. You're on the fan club blitz with Splatterhead, Tom Fitz. We even got Chris Potts in the yeah, house. Yeah, we even today. got Potts yeah. in the house. And, and, there's uh, no really half time it. and we are, uh, yeah, we're, we're brewing beer and recording podcasts today. And uh, I'm drinking beer. They're brewing beer. Yeah. Well, yeah. we're drinking beer too. We're, uh, so on the line right now, we have. Ken, Monster Mash Cruise, the, uh, I like to call him the podcast voicemail whore. Yeah. He, uh, hey If you listen to <laughs> any podcast, you'll get to hear yeah. Monster Mash leaving voicemails. Yes. And we have uh, Bobby Wasabi, who is What's also- What's happening, everybody? What's happening? What's up, guys? I love Wasabi. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> love Wasabi. Oh, man. I, I can go for some sushi right now. Exactly. Yeah. Bob, but I was on their show. Uh, yeah, I heard the other day. Hey, Tom, how was? How did your interview go with them? What? How did your interview with them go? Who? 
with these guys with the wolf pack i know they interviewed chuck i figured they were doing the whole show did they do you yet uh, they lost me at the yeah, sock yeah. yeah me too <laughs> <laughs> okay so go ahead anyway <laughs> so uh how you guys doing man i'm, I'm good you know uh, i uh, my i was sick on uh wednesday i never get sick got really sick stayed home from work and everything slept like 14 hours and my whole family got sick after that so i was up with my daughter last night i think i was up like two hours so you put those two hours with the Le'Veon bell and the, the antonio brown i think this last week or so i've only gotten like seven hours of sleep or something but i'm tired man but i'm all good though baby's fine all the kids are good i'm rocking and rolling cool right. as long as the kids are good brother yeah yeah we don't yeah. We, we don't we're not too concerned. Yeah, we don't give a shit about you. Yeah, I mean, yeah. whatever. Kids are good. <laughs> it is. And how's, how's Bobby doing? Yeah. How's Bobby doing? Uh, I'm, all, uh, I'm all good over here. Just, uh, I'm not sure if you've been keeping up on the news, but I recently got pulled over on my horse, drinking and driving, apparently. Nice. <laughs> pulled over on your horse. Yeah, yeah. It was it, it was all over the, the, the Twitter sphere. Actually, my, my boy, Kenny Stapler, put it up and just said, man, arrested you know while driving horse drunk and you know how we do over here you know chuck you know we're, we're over here country boys out, out here in watsonville country, so country boy gangsters out there in watsonville and, and the, the way i figured you know what if if my if my motor transportation don't got wheels i'm technically not drinking and driving i'm I'm trained to need like you know like drinking and like you know walking along with a friend the horse is driving man right, right the horse is driving the horse ain't drunk. The the oats were perfectly cool, man. The, why didn't the officer breathalyze that horse? That's all I gotta say. Exactly. Yeah. Well, just so you know, in North Jersey, I think you're allowed to uh, ride a horse while you're drunk. I believe so. Yeah, I, yeah. In Sussex County, Wait, I think they I encourage that actually. Yeah, just Wait, no, no tractors, no bicycles, no yeah. <laughs> horses are okay. So so when I was up in North Jersey uh, last weekend, and I had my daughter with me, my daughter's uh, almost four, and I couldn't find Chuck. We got there so late. I, I, I underestimated the time how to get out there. Anyway, so when we were walking to the head of the uh, – where they they let everybody in to, to march in the parade, we got to follow the horses. And the horses started started <laughs> everywhere, right? And my daughter my daughter's like, oh, gross. There's poop everywhere. There's giant poop everywhere. <laughs> that's my only – that's only my only horse story. Your only horse story? <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, hey, that's how you knew the horse was, was wearing green, you know? He let his green out too right there all over yeah. the place yeah nice and smoky <laughs> so uh what do you guys tell us a little bit about your uh your podcast what do you guys what do you guys up uh, tell us what's going on over there where you guys are up all to. right so since I'm, I'm the voicemail whore and i'm calling all these other shows to put my my two cents in for what it's worth uh i i decided you know maybe i wanted to start my own show and i was throwing the idea around and, and bobby and i hooked up on twitter and uh, i just mentioned it to him you know we don't know each other but we we were uh i think through uh Merce fan cave um i just mentioned like hey i'm thinking about doing my own show he goes oh yeah me too and i'm like well let's do it so you know we, he introduced me to uh raider vc who's our other partner and and then raider vc introduced us to blitzy and we all came together and put this show together we you know we didn't know where it was going to go and we were having a lot of fun doing it we got a lot of great guests coming in but our our show premises on you know we're really laid back just like you guys and uh you know talk a little about football and then wrestling we thought you know we all liked about the same thing so what about you bobby do you think that's about right that that seems about right it's just all raider talk a little bit of uh, it's not necessarily wrestling it's more wrestling i've said it before remember wrestling is like you know over here if you're like you know the greco roaming and you're wearing the like the headgear and stuff and like, like you have you know uh, what was it um uh, uh uh, not not dangerous. What the hell are they called? Man, I don't even remember. Man, I'm a little old. I'm a little guards. short this morning. Yeah, <laughs> I'm actually. Uh, I'm actually. I'm dressed like that right now. <laughs> yeah, fits his man. I saw every show a wrestling singlet in the headgear. Yeah, he's hey, got... exactly. See that? You have the headgear ready to get to go. Yeah, Perfect. Only, I guess that's. But Potts pays me a lot of money to dress that way for yes. the show. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that's so, uh, 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 just a little wrestling, a little bit of Raider, and you know, uh, match over here be bringing his uh his 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 rants his his movies and whatnot and it's cool you know like he he definitely brings up a lot of stuff because i guess he he loves his his academy awards and whatnot that was his his first uh 
his first little match round was actually his Academy Awards, and it was actually pretty cool. I liked it. I dug it. <laughs> yeah, I, I listened to that. That was uh... so. Uh, well, good. I'm I'm bailing sooner than Pots is going to take over my slot, so I'm just going to want to get a couple of my questions in quick here. So, uh, favorite wrestlers? We, we... Bobby, you want to go first? Ooh, okay then. I have always said my favorite wrestler has always been the undertaker i mean dude, that's that's a that's a through and through raider right there dude if, if you if you just from the sound from the feel from the attitude alone it was all about it was all about the undertaker i definitely love that dude as a kid i definitely uh definitely gravitated towards him which kind of made me feel a little bit weird because everybody was all about the hulkamaniac status and whatnot but it was all about you know that that feel that the undertaker gave you man right. straight out that's it no 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 other wrestlers that was it just him i like other wrestlers but he's my he's my number one all the way through and through and eddie guerrero of course honorable right. mention no pepe gomez <laughs> <laughs> what about you ken uh you know uh, hbk sean michaels and then and then close behind stone cold of course just and uh and i was you know i've always liked sting as well um, from the WCW, but uh, yeah, probably Shawn Michaels. I just think that he overall was a great performer, and uh, he made the matches worth watching. He's just a pioneer of so many different matches, um, and then Stone Cold just transcended, you know, with he and The Rock and Vince McMahon. Um, and once they kind of disappeared, I think wrestling kind of disappeared, you know? <laughs> yeah, I, I was just going to say that. Like, I, I mean, I, I'm more like I, I'm older than you guys. And th that was like the last era of guys that were decent. My, my whole thing is I don't care about what they do in the ring. My, I used to watch wrestling for what they do with the microphone. And, right. You know, those are the last guys that had any kind of talk somewhat. I mean, like, you know, you go back to, you know, Roddy Piper, Ric Flair, Dusty Rhodes. Like, those guys were hysterical. Like, you, you couldn't beat the, the, the See, crap that came out of their mouth. I don't know. See, my wife is a big fan of The Rock, but she watches him with the sound off. <laughs> well, no, listen. He's, well, yeah. <laughs> what, did, so, I, think, I, think, I, I think Chris Potts does that, too. <laughs> and, the, and the lights out, too? Does he turn the lights out? Listen, my, my wife with collects my wife yeah. collects rocks, right? <laughs> does Potts have a sock? Right. So, Where's my, your sock? <laughs> my Listen, my... my <laughs> do the whole Fifi thing. My uh, my wife my wife collects rocks, right? Because we live in in like a, a mineral. Yeah, this like, is like Rockville. Man. Yeah, we, it's the mineral fluorescent mineral capital of the world, right? So she's got this really nice display of rocks that glow in the dark under a black light, and it's it's really impressive. And it's all rocks and minerals, and and then yeah, there's a, no rocks, man. And it's then, all minerals. And then a framed picture of the rock <laughs> sitting <laughs> in the in the mineral Just display. <laughs> Which why not? You might, you know what? If you're gonna go that way, you might as well go the whole night. Yeah, days. exactly. That was a gift from my daughter. I'm yeah. like, this is great. <laughs> Wait, is there is there also a, a VHS copy of the movie The Rock? Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Sean Connery? You just gave Chuck an idea Dude, for I, Christmas. I signed by Sean Connery, too. No, no. That's a good idea for Christmas now, though. No. Yeah, there you go. It, it, there you go. It's we'll, we'll, we'll man. Not, not the she's a big, hook you up, Sean. She's a big we're fan. Of, she's a big fan of Sean Connery. But but she'll watch Sean Connery with the sound on. on. With the rock, she's just like, I turn the sound down. Yeah. Um, yeah. There, there's a the sign, there's a sign, cop, a there's, there's a sign copy of San Andreas. Get me, yeah. Get me, a, get me, a, get me a, a <laughs> glass of whiskey neat yes. and, and put on San Andreas or any other ridiculous yeah. movie. Yeah. And turn the sound Skyscraper, off. Skyscraper or whatever the hell one is jumping off the building. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's a great we'll, movie. We'll try, that, we'll try to get that fake leg too, man. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, here's a question: uh, What are you guys drinking right now? Uh -oh. Well, uh, since might, I didn't sleep last night, I'm, hang up. I'm on water. Uh, but oh. tonight I got a I got a paint class I'm teaching. Yeah, what? I teach paint classes what? on the side, so what, I what, drink. What? Uh, what? What? <laughs> what? What? Milk on the rocks. <laughs> <laughs> milk on the rocks. Are you drinking wine and vodka at your paint class? <laughs> no, I'll, I I'll hope be, that I'll milk on the rocks has Kahlua and vodka in it. I'll, I'll be drinking. Uh, I drink the Einstock. Yeah, you know, the Einstock. Do, you do, you, do, you drink the Einstock. Einstock. Yeah. You're all right. Yeah, it's good beer, man. I like it. I'm actually interested in what you guys are brewing. I'm following you on yeah. Facebook, and I, I see the pictures. They're oh, interested yeah. in what they're brewing too. We're They're not sure exactly what what's going to come out of this. Yeah, we're yeah we're interested. You know, if if you see this on Facebook, then you realize we were smashing your brain with a cinder block. Yeah. So 
our, 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 our mill broke. Yeah. The, 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 yeah, yeah. So I saw mill the message. Nine one one. We need a mill. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mill broke and so we say, decided, yeah. Yeah, let's put it in a Ziploc bag and smash it between two bricks. That'll work. Yeah. Use the, ro- yeah, use the rocks. I show up and I'm like, hey, yeah. Pots, I got a job for you. How come you guys yeah, don't do just what, what, what Monster Mash Ken does? With a what is, cinder block. What does Monster Mash Ken do? He just stomps on it with his feet. He keeps it all organic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, and, and, that's why, and that's why they used to make wine. Why not, you know, why not mash it like up like that? You haven't seen our feet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? Uh, hey, hey. His name is Monster Mash Ken. You yeah. know? That's true. That's true. Well, we, we, we get him over here with his feet. We had pots out there smashing grains for us when he got here we <laughs> we were done after after seven pounds me and tom were done we're like the last half pounds for you well, yeah. let, well let me let me ask you guys something wait no not you... yet not yet yeah. we haven't heard what bobby's drinking you're drinking i don't i have water i stock i stock later water now okay what's bobby drinking may i got a uh what they call a michelada now but i still call nice. it a hey, nice. uh, we, know what you we know. go with that nice. i taught these That's guys what we call it though. i I, <laughs> I taught these guys micheladas yes i uh we, we were serving them up at our tailgate and yeah. uh i was making my my special uh micheladas yeah. and uh so good i'll take that it's it's a good it's a good morning morning drink because it's not it's not too heavy it it, it gets you kind of going and you know if, and if you have it with the right food it you're good to go to start the day. Oh, wait, you Absolutely. Have, wait, you have food with your morning drinks? <laughs> Maybe that's where we go wrong, Tom. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I always thought hey, of my listen, morning man, drinks as food. Bobby's a Chicano, man. They got drinks, they got food, they're going. Yeah. I always thought it was one of, you know, it was all one of the same. Nah. But actually, before I hand off to uh, Mr. Potts here, I just, you know, get, just getting back to, you know, when I heard through the grapevine that they were they were smashing grains, they had Potts here working the, the, the grain smashing. I, in my head, I just pictured, like, this Tom built this, like, this big grist mill out in the back, and Potts was, like, strapped into it, like, working it as Tom's, like, kind of whipping them, like, come on, move faster, <laughs> you know, get that grain mill going, Eddie, move it, move the it. The Egyptians had grist, slaves. Yeah. Why shouldn't me and Splatter had? <laughs> like, working the wheel. <laughs> We weren't smart enough to build a grist mill, so we'll use pots. Right. That's a- <laughs> they had the Egyptians had slaves. We got pots. Yeah, we have pots. <laughs> it's a little messed up. All there. right, Fitz. Fitz is Fitz has got to hit the road, so pots is uh, coming on. Yeah. What do you What do you got for these guys, pots? I don't know. Later, Fitzy. <laughs> Apparently, I'm a slave now to you guys. <laughs> no, we don't have slaves. Yeah, no. we have pots. Yeah. It's not Pretty calling much. you a slave. That's saying we, you know, we're better than I that. Di- I didn't get to hear what Kevin said, but what was your guys' favorite wrestlers? My oh, said I- it. You gonna, you gonna, you, we're gonna, have, we're gonna have double on the show now. I know, but I didn't get to hear it. I well, you listen wanted, to the uh, show and you'll uh, hear Bobby, it. Bobby like the, the Undertaker. <laughs> <laughs> I live the show. I'm here. And, you're and, listening, and, and Ken like Shawn Michaels. Oh, okay. Yeah, I met, uh, I met Shawn Michaels once. That's yeah. the guy that sang for Poison. Yeah. <laughs> it's Brett Michaels. Brett, oh. Brett Mi- that's Brett you're, you're, you're oh. close. You were close. He, he moonlighted for Poison, actually. Yeah. He did. Yeah. It's the not Undertaker, a wig, it's a bandana. The Undertaker sings for Behemoth. Yeah. My, <laughs> my, 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 bu- my buddy today is doing a, a special for WWE today. He's like meeting like Paul White and you know the big show and Ricochet and uh, the Ultimate Warrior's wife. You guys... Uh, so. Bobby and uh, and Monster Mash, you gotta you gotta you gotta have Pots on your show because he's got a kind of a, yeah. a connection to the wrestling world. Well, yeah. the wrestling world, I grew up on that. Well, stuff, yeah. but well, there you go. What we're gonna do is, you know, right now with the you know, with the season with the NFL season, you know, going into uh, you know just free agency ending and then um, uh, the rookie draft coming up. You know, we're just really busy, and I feel like we're kind of squeezing in the uh, the wrestling. So we're going to actually do a separate show for wrestling for a couple That's months. That's good. And uh, we'll definitely have Chris Potts on. Yeah, nah, you're going to have to. I like nah, talking nah, about man. it. And Potts, Potts all, you, your family was involved with wrestling and something. No, right? no, my my wife's uh, cousin actually. He was he was actually signed to WCW when WCW was around, and then uh, he he actually got trained from like the Guerrero family. Oh, oh no! Yeah, shit. yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. He he he's been a wrestler ever since he was like I don't know, like teenager, nineteen. He's he's almost fifty now, so it's like he can't wow. do it, he can't do it much. I mean, he just had a second heart procedure, so he can't do it much now. But he wants to get back and doing it again, uh, just slow, but. Yeah, he liked the Guerreros, uh, Hector Guerrero, I think it was, who trained him. And then, uh, 
He did a bunch of stuff, but he actually had a WCW contract before WWE bought them, and then they phased out like minor contracts. He's like, yeah, that was it. But he was he was part of the uh, SWA, the Southern Wrestling Alliance, down there in Alabama and all that crap. Nice. Yeah, down in the South, they have all those different uh, yep. uh, territories and. You got to do the rounds before you make it to the bigs. Yeah, yep. we 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 have them up here too. The North Jersey has a you know pro wrestling yep. thing. Yep. We we had one of the one of the guys was on our show because uh, his uh, when we did the Pittsburgh Steeler thing where we had the Steeler fan there. One of the we had the the wrestler kid. His son's a wrestler. Yeah, wrestler. Yeah, I could, I, could, I could tell you guys some stories if you put me on the show. But that was the mook with the mohawk. Yeah, the mook oh, with the mohawk. Yeah, the, the mook. <laughs> yeah, this dude came pulling up in like a like a town and country station wagon, like wood paneled. Signs. Trying to trying to pedal t-shirts. Yeah, yeah. trying to pedal t-shirts. <laughs> Yeah, was it, was and, he, and run into our Raiders bar, and they thought they'd have cart. You know, it wasn't like, even was it, a Mohawk. It was like yeah. a man bun. Yeah, kind it was of like thing. it was. Yeah, was it, it was like hey, it, Tom, it was like Mahomes shaved both sides I, of his head. I've known he just him. Left that little fuzzy thing in the middle. I've known that kid since he was in kindergarten. Yeah. I they did a uh, uh, you know the kids had to do country reports. Yeah, and they you know they each did a display, and I went in, and this poor kid. He his his country was Colombia, and he wrote down on there that their biggest import or biggest export was coffee, and I was like, oh, this poor kid. Yeah. No, it's, 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 like, like, it's cocaine, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, like, this like, poor kid. Yeah. I'm like, he you don't know. know. Come yeah. on, you're getting an F for this. Yeah. But was he was he smell was he? <laughs> no, was he was selling t-shirts. T-shirts. Yeah. Right. It's a diversion. So uh, so what do you guys what what's your take on on the latest moves? How you guys feeling with the Raiders? Well, for me, uh, I was pushing for Antonio Brown, you know, since it came up. I know. And I think ever since Carr, uh, in the last season, Carr just needed somebody that could catch and that had some speed. And when you get an all, uh, you know, first ballot Hall of Fame wide receiver that wanted out of Pittsburgh, and he's, you know, he might be 31, 30, whatever he is, he's better shaped than a lot of people. You know, you're watching this guy and his work ethic, it's, it's unparalleled. Uh, look but, at Larry uh, Fitzgerald. Larry Fitzgerald is older that, than him and does the same thing. Yeah, Fitzgerald. You know what I'm I mean, saying? So, he may not have the speed so, still, but, yeah, but, but it, definitely you know, the, but, the production. But the, but the age is not a factor. Yeah, uh, right. Yeah, you know? people people throw that age with Later, the Raiders Fitzy. and John Gruden. It's just done. Don't take Rogers with you. Yeah, can't take Rogers. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> talking to Fitz, he's leaving. My is, my is Rogers a dog? <laughs> Rogers yeah, is my dog. Yeah. yeah, Rogers is my crazy remember, remember. pit mix, and he's 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 hanging out in the back cave with us today. Yeah, he's killing it today. And uh, why is his name Rogers and not Derek or Carr? Listen, we we <laughs> <Or> had, <Gannon. laughs> we we, had, we we rescued him. He had about. 24 hours to live when he was seven months old. We rescued him from a shelter, and uh, his name was Rogers. And we didn't change his name. That's what he knew. So That's awesome. He's not named after Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> you know? Rogers Camardi. There you yeah. go. Yeah. <laughs> no, no quitting that dog. <laughs> yeah. So, how about you, Bobby? What's your take on the the latest? Moves? I definitely, definitely like what we're doing as far as shoring up the the offensive line. I like that we're going to give our our man DC some time. That's what he needs. He needs some time to throw that damn ball down down definitely. the field. Definitely, yeah. It's 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 cool. I I like that. One thing that really threw me off. It was just funny just looking at the picture. Was our new backup QB, Mike Glennon? <laughs> <laughs> what, oh is, my what, God, I dude. seen that what, picture today. What, I was like, hey, I was like, what? What is that guy like? Like forty eight? Hey, hey, Bobby, what with that dopey look on his face when he signed in the contract? He's just like, <laughs> he just, I mean, they, man, I'm fifty two. That that dude looks ten years older than me. <laughs> they said that guy is like over six feet tall. I was like, well, yeah, of course, it's all neck. I'm like, how did he not be tall? I'm not worried about the backup quarterback. The guy, yeah. the, the guy's been around long enough yeah. that if God forbid something happens, he can jump in there yeah. and make you know. It's another, it, it's another Tampa guy that Gruden loves, right? Yeah. But it, it's look, I and I think it's good that they they got this guy in free agency so everybody can shut the hell up. Uh, yeah. About oh, they're gonna draft, you know. Yeah, they they're not drafting a quarterback. Even if they no. did, they, they drafted 
way down the end. Yeah, exactly. So Exactly. Yeah, him and also uh, Vontez Burfig as well. I mean, talk about the goon squad coming back. That's the one thing that I, think I it like and I don't like it. I like it because, I mean, hell, dude, I grew up watching, you know, the Raiders watching all those old school NFL films, you know, where they had the auto win plan and. Yeah, That's we, how I grew up me, watching the Rick. You so did Potts. Me and me and Tom watched them live. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, eighty four was. Yeah, you see, my my thing is, is uh, they 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 were so in on Von Tez, right? Why uh-huh. weren't Why weren't they so in on Justin Houston, who's a bona fide well, well, pass that, rushing? That they, monster. they were in the running. They were in the running, but the, the, the I think he got twelve million a year or something like that. And yeah. I'm, I'm actually kind of glad they didn't. They didn't. The do that. I thought he no. still. I thought he got twelve 15. million. Their last pass rusher wanted twenty five million, and this guy yeah, has but, and this guy has more sacks and better numbers. So for and, uh, twelve all, million. Wouldn't that be a bargain? Well, also you got to think maybe he didn't want to come to the Raiders too. Yeah, you know? okay. yeah, I think that too. But <laughs> yeah. but you never seen much that they were really in on him. You know what I'm saying? I, I do like the approach that Mayock and, and Gruden are, are taking. Where you know with the Le'Veon Bell situation, um, you know if it was that close, they they must have had their number and like you know we're we're gonna do this. If you take it or leave it, you know, and that was it. Because I yeah. they had the money to do it. They had yeah. the money to do it. And, and at uh, this point, it's all about just short contracts. Everyone's just basically getting all these new signups that they're getting they're all just one year one mil oh you know, hey, keeping, hey man keeping it pretty I, strong. I agree on signing perfect for one year five uh, I, I i agree i'm all for that you know it seems to me if there was a guy like justin houston out there and we weren't pursuing him that's like you know kind of odd to me you know especially we needed a pass rush somebody that can you know rack up sacks me, me and chuck so, are in the same mind of that freaking guy is a raider like he yeah. just fits a raider like like it's just he's a raider who, Vontaze? No, yeah. Vontaze. Yeah, absolutely. Like, he's a Raider. Like, it's well, just... I feel like I feel like people are making a big deal about it. Like, oh, he's going to get he's going to get uh, flags. He's going to lose a game for us. Like, you know what? People, he's going to hit somebody, and whether he gets a flag or not, they're going to be scared to go in that direction again. And that's yeah. what we need. We need yeah. some, yeah, we need exactly. some, oh, some I agree. attitude. I agree. 100%. And, and he's going to bring the quarterback, and he's going to bring him down hard. Yes. yes. Yeah. No, I, I, I agree with that, man. So, yeah. uh, what questions you got, Tom? Um, they, know, really... they know about... Uh, Movies and they know about wrestling. <laughs> they know about. Did you guys watch? Uh, did you guys watch? Did, the, the, did the, you watch the Dirt last night? Yeah. The what? The Dirt. The Motley Crue movie. No, no. Was, the Motley Crue movie. It yeah, just yeah. came out on Netflix. Oh, it's great. No way. Oh, no. It's great. Oh, yeah. I'm, a, yeah, yeah, I'm a big it, Crue fan too. I, did, I didn't have time to watch it. It's on Netflix. Yeah, I yeah, have like my queue going. Yeah. But uh, wow. The first five minutes of the movie, you'll realize why Tommy Lee is my spirit animal. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> yeah. No, no spoilers. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have to explain anymore. But you, you know, you realize. That. Just pay attention to the first five minutes. At yeah. the five minute mark, you'll understand <laughs> what Tom's yeah. talking well, about. I remember exactly. the VH1, the VH1 special they had, and oh, that yeah. one was pretty nuts. You know, yeah. way yeah. back when, the, at, the behind the music. Yeah. As far as like biopics goes, this is pretty good. Yeah, yeah, it's good I'm stuff. I'm gonna check it out. Yeah, yeah. The, the way they so, produced it was really good too. Yeah, the way they, stuff. the they, way they, they could have found better wigs, but it yeah. was. <laughs> yeah, but otherwise, yeah, yeah. Yeah. otherwise it was. Yeah. Otherwise it was. So great. Pamela Anderson wasn't the deal breaker for you. She's Actually, like, oh yeah, yeah. Pamela Anderson wasn't even. <laughs> she, they didn't even bring her up. Yeah, yeah. just she just Heather Locklear. Yeah. Just Heather Locklear. Oh, nice. There you go. Heather Locklear, nice. I think Andy got to see her ass. Right. I think so. I think so. Yeah, it was somebody's ass. You seen? Yeah, you've seen a lot of asses. I've seen a lot, yeah, of ass. a lot of asses. A lot of asses. You get to see Ozzy yeah, drinking pee. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah. You, wanna, yeah. you, get, you do. You get to see Ozzy drinking pee. Yeah. And, you, and you get to see drinking pee. And wait. not just his own. <laughs> not just, not hey. just his own. Hey. 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 hey, guys, you also get to see the classic Ozzy, you know, like from Motley Crue, uh, Snort and Ants. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, I did, wow. like, I really, like, when Nikki Six would talk about that stuff, I was just yeah. like, Okay, and then they they put it in there, and I was like, oh, it yep. was like, yep. <laughs> I was absolutely, like, all right, this is great. <laughs> you know, before I started the podcast, I was looking into having uh, "Kickstart My Heart" as the opening song, and Bobby was for it as well. But then we, you know, I didn't realize that there were so many uh, oh. uh, royalties and all that you got to deal with. Yeah, I, thought, I just love the opening. I love that opening. If I was a wrestler, that would be my opening. You See, know? we we just, just use play it in the background for our for for our other podcast, the Neighbor Nation, which isn't out yet. We just use punk rock music because if one of those guys comes after us, <laughs> we're just gonna go punch him in the face, like. <laughs> 
<laughs> really? Yeah. You're a punk rocker and you're trying to sue me? <laughs> well, I heard I heard that on the for Motley Crue, like a lot of people try to use their music because it's awesome, obviously. So there's like this whole thing going on with it. And I was like, I'm not going to even mess with it. But we do use um, Rick James for Bobby's sec- uh, session. Yeah. Uh, and I figured, you know, well, it's Rick James. Well, the problem is, <laughs> the problem is, is for a lot of those bands, like even Rick James and, and Motley Crue and all them, they don't, most of those bands don't own those recordings. Yeah. So it's not it's them, different. it's not them that are coming after you. So with the, with the punk rock stuff that we play and listen to, yeah. they, the labels don't even exist anymore. No. The, the <laughs> bands own everything and they don't care. Just yeah. like, you know, you know, I'm sure if you asked Nikki Six if you could play Kickstart My Heart for your podcast, he wouldn't give a crap. All right, yeah. I'm going to tell him. I'm but, yeah, right yeah, now. give him but, a call. <laughs> but, his no. li- but the label Send him a tweet. would be like, well, you owe us money. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's you, the thing I but read. personally, Nikki those Six guys wouldn't give label. a crap. No, they you, were, can, they you were, can get it done. Yeah, what's I'm going to try. No, Nikki Six and the label, the label was the one that was wanting the royalties, and Nikki yeah. Six wanted the royalties for the for the band. Yeah. So well, you gotta that wa- was a whole conversation. you got to watch the movie. It's yeah. all in there. It's all in yeah, there. well, screw Nikki Six. He's a junk. Yeah. You know, <laughs> ask Tommy <laughs> Lee. He won't give a crap. Yeah. I'm going to ask him next time I see him. Yeah. <laughs> as, as you'll see in the movie, you know, Vince Neil puts it very well. Yeah. Screw you and your sober band. Yeah. I'm going to have a drink. Yeah, I hate your sober band. I hate I'm your sober band. I'm not having any fun. <laughs> <laughs> when, when, is, uh, when does your new show come out? Uh, we're, we're, we're we're recording. We've got like uh, three and a half episodes recorded right yeah. now. Three and a half, yes. And uh, we're we're yes. we're, tr- we'll we're shooting. By the end of the day. We're shooting for a launch of. Uh, Somewhere in April. Yes. All right, I'm and excited. I need, we're, we're, I need more bus material. We're putting that out ourselves. That way we can we can cuss and we can. Uh, yeah, we're we we're kind of doing what the crow's nest is doing. Like you know, you get tired of talking about. The, we go off the rails a lot, right? Yeah. And, and so a lot of a lot of the Raiders fans are like, I don't want to listen to this. I don't want to listen to Raiders stuff. And it's like, what, what do you want me to talk about? Raiders stuff that you don't already know in in uh you know the middle of winter yeah. right what do you want me to talk about you know in uh February Chuck, Chuck, <laughs> how much am I going to tell you about what's going on with the Raiders yeah. so that you don't already know so we all this show's only coming out once this show's coming out you know every other week now yeah. until you know oh, probably wow. okay. the draft and then a Nebra Nation will come out and uh that's so everybody that likes our off the rail stuff can and listen to that. Yeah. No, no, Chuck. When, I, I want you to be. Uh, I want you to do the math. I want you to do a lot of math. Doing any <laughs> math. I want you to do a lot of math, and I want you to break down the. I want you to break down the draft picks. I want you to do everything. That's what they want to hear. Yeah. Yeah. yeah carry the two. I, carry the, know, yeah. carry the two divided by eight. Every, these guys know what I feel about <laughs> the draft. I'll, you know, uh, I'm not excited Chuck, about it until Chuck, draft day. Chuck despises the draft all the way up until draft day. And even then, I don't really care. Yeah. I'm not I excited I, about the draft until Paul, I see the player play. We, we, right. We have, a, we have a member, Paul. Paul has like eight laptops out. Yeah, he comes the to the draft yeah. party. He's got all his laptops. And got, awesome. I'm actually flying out. I just got my room. I know. Yeah. I heard. Yeah. yeah. But when, no matter like no matter what they do, he's mad. Yeah. You know? It's like, oh, what are they doing that for? Well, and, that's that's the thing I hate about it. And I would always push that in some, like last year. Like, don't get your heart set on your the, the mock draft that you made up. You know, it doesn't matter what so-and-so said on TV. or It doesn't matter. You don't know what Gruden's going to do. You don't want, Now we don't know what Mayock's going to do. You know, if they might take Kyler Murray, what if they do? What are you going to do? Stop being a Raider fan? You know, it's just, even, it is what it is. Even the draft doesn't matter to me. You know, because after the draft, people go, oh, you know, I, I see all the football fans at work that want to talk to me about stuff because they know I'm a big Raiders guy. Like, How do you feel about your draft picks? Like, I, I'll tell you in <laughs> two years. Yeah. Exactly. I, I hate when people I'll tell you, Kenner. I'll tell you in yeah, two years should. how I feel about him because it's going to take him at least till then to be evaluated. You see, you That's see true. how how I want the draft to go is I want the, the Raiders to trade their four pick to the Giants for Shaquan Bark and then use I'd be okay with that and then use the other two first round picks they have on those Clemson problem children. That got suspended for the one game in the playoffs before the Dex- BCS Dexter championship Lawrence. game. Yes, yeah. that's how I want the draft to go, and that's not going to be the way that it up. goes. No, <laughs> but if I was a businessman, if I was a businessman, 
and I'm building this team. That's the way so I So that's Tom's uh, mock draft. Yes, that's my mock draft. Yeah. You know. Saquon Barkley. Got yeah. it. Saquon. We're yeah. trading. Yeah. We're trading. Tra- the Giants need a quarterback really bad. You trade that four pick to them to get their quarterback. You get Shaquan Barkley. You know the Giants. The Giants are just like us. Well, they were like us a couple of years ago, where you know they got rid of their best safety. They got yes. rid of the best wide receiver. Yes. They're gonna their quarterback is done. Barkley, yeah, he's a. You know, they have no offensive line. What's he gonna do? He's a great player, Barkley. Yeah. He's gonna be something special. But it, they're in bad shape. If, really bad shape. If that scenario ever happened. That would change. That that would reset the league. It would definitely reset the division. Yeah, that, <laughs> yeah, it yeah would. definitely reset the AFC West, if not the league. With the Raiders having Shaquan Barkley and Antonio Brown, Derek Carr, God, and yeah, and, and, and some defensive players. Yeah, yeah, you know that that sounds crazy enough to, to that it might work. Yeah, exactly. And that's what you got to do. And, and as Think always, outside the box. And man. you heard it here first on the <laughs> Van Court it here first. That's man. what the Raiders are doing. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I'll, let, I'll let you guys in on a little secret. I'll let you guys in on a little secret. The next time Bobby hangs out with Robert Kraft at the at the uh, massage therapist place, he's going to put it in, uh, in Robert Kraft's ear, and Robert Kraft's going to take that to Goodell just for you guys. All, <laughs> All right. right. Bobby, yeah. Bobby, do it. Do All it. All right. Man. Good deal. Hey, we were there for medicinal purposes, man. All right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I <laughs> Take a nap, man. It was it was the best thing ever, and I love myself some garlic. And Gilroy's right over the hill. Yeah, so I, nice, I, used, I, I also yeah, Gilroy garlics, man. I also that, that, I also used to live in Gilas, man. Yeah. Not I, you know. Uh-huh. I'm born and raised they, Salinas, but I lived in Gilroy for a long time, and uh, you know San Jose and all over Berkeley. Been been all over Northern California, man. But uh, so, yeah. so you know we got some good food around here because we got all that fresh produce around That's here. That's right, man. I, you know these guys don't get it, man. All the produce out here costs more, and I'm like, and it's all from Salinas and Gilroy. Wow. <laughs> not not necessarily once the season starts. No, well that's true. That's true. Yeah. But you But don't... when the season starts, if I see Gilroy garlic, that's what you get. I will buy. Yeah, and you buy and you and you yes. and and you're buying Castorville artichokes yes. and you're yes. buying your lettuce exactly. from Salinas, so. Exactly. Strawberries from Watsonville. Yep, exactly. Yep. Yeah. I see Gilroy yeah, so, garlic. I'm buying that all the time. Well, I used to live there, man, and it it smelled because it, it, there's also there used to be like a tomato refinery plant there, and it like ugh, you wake up and it's a nice hot day, and it smelled like spaghetti sauce was cooking, man. Oh, that's awesome. The garlic growing. You got you got the tomatoes being refined. You're like ah, oh, I love it. I. Uh, I, I'd be like so hungry every day. You're hungry every day. But you hate day tomatoes. Day. <laughs> Pots hates tomatoes, but he'd be hungry every day. So well, I tomatoes. like I love tomato sauce. I love oh, okay. I love great. I love sauce, man. There you go. <laughs> yeah. See, you almost called the gravy because that's what it's called yes. here in the yeah. in, in in the Northeast. I don't call it that. I don't call no, it that. No. No. That's crazy. <laughs> but, but the Ginzos call Italian. it gravy. My dad's Italian. So, yeah, the, the, yeah, the Ginzos call it gravy. So, Bobby, I know you're from uh, Northern California, and Ken, you're from uh, Southern California originally. Um, so let's have a debate. Uh, who's who's got the best? Who's got the best carne asada burritos? Northern Cali or Southern Cali? Oh, uh, and I'm sorry for you, I'm sorry for saying Cali, but that's just for our listeners because most of them are from California. So I'll do you one better because I think that Arizona has the best. Stop. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> let me explain to you. There's uh there's a few taco shops that are you know these guys are fresh over the border and they 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 bungalow themselves and I, I just I just think Arizona has the best, hands down. Okay. Bobby. But if, if out of the two, though, I, I, I mean, I've been up to uh, Bobby's Way around Santa Cruz area, and I, I can't give it a fair shot, but I, I would stand behind Southern California. Okay. What you think, All right. Bobby? Well, as far as burritos is concerned, I'm not really a burrito person. Hear me out. Right. The reason why is it's, it's kind of weird, man. You have this big old phallic thing going in your mouth that you got to <laughs> stuff in. <laughs> I'm a taco kind of guy. Yeah, I love tacos. All right. So that being said, as far as the best food, of course, we got it on lock up here because, as I said, we have a hell of a lot more fresh produce up here. We have a lot more variety. Not that they don't got that down down south, but we do have a lot more uh, variety as well. So I'm about to go ahead and say that that we do up here. 
even though even though the one thing I will give it to to Southern Cali that they got that we don't got up here is the the carne asada fries. Ah. Oh yeah, there nice. you go, champ. That that's great. All right. Yeah. I, I'm going to I'm going to come in and I'm just going to uh, because I live in in New Jersey now. I grew up in Salinas and San Jose. I understand the whole, you know, I I I wasn't I didn't want anything to do with SoCal when I lived out there. It, you know, it was I didn't like their sports teams other than when the Raiders were there. Um yep. I don't care about, you know, most of the bands I like were from Northern California. Everything was, you know, you know, you know how it goes. That's a whole different state, really. Southern California, Northern California, you go down to LA and all that. But since I live out here and I've been back to visit and I've traveled and I, I got all I got to say is I don't care about Southern California. You know, I'm giving it to San Diego, period. As Fair far, enough. Man. As far as, as far as, you know, and I'm just saying carne asada. I'm not talking about, you know, because up in Northern Cali, we got, we got those big, uh, you know, those burritos where they stuff everything in there, right? That That's like the whole, oh, that whole the thing. The and the avocado. That whole thing that everybody does now where they throw rice and everything in there, that, that started up in like San Francisco, you know? And it's good for, for, for what it is, but when you go down to, to San Diego and they just throw a bunch of meat and a tortilla and fold it up and say, here you go, and you can't beat it. You really can't. You know, when I go to, uh, what's that joint? Chipotle, you know, on lunch or whatever, and I tell them I don't want any rice. They look at me like I'm crazy. Like, no, I just want meat and cheese. That's it. And sauce. That's it. Right. And they look at me like I'm crazy. Like, what? So like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because you, you don't put rice in a burrito. But unless, nope. you, you know, but they do that up in you know san francisco so and that's the one thing that, that you have to kind of go around looking for some of these spots you see that's why i'm a big advocate of the tacos is because you may not want to invest a whole burrito in a place that that you know it may not be good you you may be getting something subpar so it's like all right cool let me see a taco real quick and, right. and find yeah. out how it is and then from there he's like cool let me go ahead and have a whole burrito of that and then just go from there yeah and, and also at least tacos are mexican you know uh, I love nobody tacos. in mexico <laughs> eats, nobody in mexico eats a damn burrito that's a that's that's an american thing all in itself (laughs) but but indeed tex-mex if anything you're right 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 but it can be done well and i'll tell you my favorite northern california taco place there's one in hollister and there's one in gilroy where they i don't know if they're there now anymore but baja burger um i would go in there for lunch and i would get a chili verde burrito for like two dollars and 25 cents and there was nothing in that thing but pork and the hottest damn chilies I've ever had in my life, and that was awesome. Chuck, you know, I want have, you ever, every day. have you ever ate at Wahoo's? <laughs> have you ever heard of Wahoo's? No. Okay, Wahoo's is in Huntington Beach, right? And they actually opened one up on Madison. I think it's Madison. Madison, like 30th or something like that, or 28th, but there, it's some good California tacos. All right, I'll if try. You get, if you make your way down there. Hey, yeah, Wahoo's. Then- there's a Wahoo. there's a taqueria in Manhattan that I haven't tried yet, and it's two guys from Brawley and a dude, oh, Brawley, yes, and a dude yeah. from Tijuana, and it's supposed to be really good, man. But I haven't I haven't made it down there yet. Maybe that's the next podcast, Chuck. We could just join yeah. forces and go eat we'll, go we'll eat do. Southern California shoot, shoot, uh, California food in New York. We'll <laughs> do we'll do that on a, we'll, we'll do that on a, on a, a Nibra Nation. Me and you well, yeah, get yeah, together yeah. and we'll, well, we'll take a trip out of that. Yeah, I'm in. I'm uh, in. I'll, I'll eat. I'll eat everything. When I was at the cottage, I, when I was at the cottage, I got the uh, fish and chips, and that was on point. That I told was you. I told you. Yeah, I told you, Ken. There. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I told the girl. I, I told the woman there that was, you know, the young lady. I said, "Hey, just bring me what you what I should get. Like, I'm going to trust you." And she brought me the fish and chips, and I was on. It was on point. You guys got anything in closing, man? So. Like, what do you, you got coming up, guests? Yeah, you got, what guests well, we got you got a, coming up? And then, you know, anything you want to well, say. We got, we got two really great guests coming up. Uh, tomorrow we're interviewing uh, JT the Brick. Uh, oh, nice. That's huge. for uh, Yeah, okay, that was a cool. huge. Uh, and then one of my – you guys are going to kill me on this one, but one of my all-time favorite Raiders all-time is uh, Stuart Schweigert. He played oh, safety. Yep, yep. And he, he's going to be on the week after. Um, oh, nice. Yeah, so those are the two that we got in a row. Uh, then, uh, then I'll be, I'll be broadcasting live from WrestleMania the week after that. <laughs> nice, cool. And then I think we're taking a break. We're at or... the Garden. Yeah, no, no, it's at the uh, MetLife. Oh, MetLife. Okay. 
and uh, there's a big tailgate and all this. So I paid the 50 bucks to get to the tailgate. And, and then I got a seat. Um, I got a, like a seat, a nosebleed. But, you know, I'm going to WrestleMania. That's all that matters to me. Yeah, I nice. don't even know who's who's wrestling, you know. Right. <laughs> I, don't yeah. know. I don't know who's who. Uh, and then after that, uh, then we'll be, I'll be broadcasting with uh, Kane from the Pillaging Podcast at the, down at the draft in Tennessee. So uh, we'll, we'll we'll see how it goes. But, uh, yeah, and then we're going to be breaking our, our show up a little bit. Uh we're going to uh, do the wrestling on a couple days uh, um, off. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Is the Blitz chick going to go down to uh, Nashville with you? You know, I don't think she is. I asked, and she, I don't think she's going to make it no. uh, this time around. But she does get a lot of insider access. And her stories, I mean, off air are amazing. You, if, if we ever get the chance to show you her little woman cave, as she calls it, it's it's off the chain. Right, Bobby? Oh, it's like a freaking museum. It, it blows my mind. Any other persons like man kid that i've seen it's not a, that i look at it, i laugh because it's nothing compared to to our mama wolf honestly you know we see mervs we see mervs but i think mama wolf's got it better well yeah. I, i'll tell you yes, I'm, I'm i'm sure her woman cave is impressive and yeah. she's got some great insider stories with the raiders but you want you 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 think our on-air stuff is great pots will tell you you gotta hear uh mine and tom's off-air stories oh my god and, uh, <laughs> like, we just send this kid just, into shock yeah it's not it's not you say kid like yeah but it's like everybody's I, a kid to I, me. Well, I haven't even i really you you guys will feel like you haven't lived <laughs> <laughs> really? Like until you hear the like Tom just told the story about this this past two weeks. Like like you can't write you yeah, can't even make it up. These aren't just stories from our past. This just this happened. Is, this is just life. Is like, this on the new show? Like oh, I, Wait, were you guys have some of this on the new show? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, well like some his of story it on the his new story show. told off the air, Tom. So like you just sat there and you're like I, I almost had a heart attack laughing so hard. <laughs> well, like, I was just like, Oh my god, this can't happen to one person. Yeah, like, and, 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 that's why you know. And it I, happened to yeah, Tom. That, it that, happened to that's Tom. That's why my people. Facebook account right now is on hold. <laughs> so. yeah. Well, yeah, just had to shut that down yeah, for a little bit. Yeah, you shut the Facebook down, down for a little, just a tiny bit. Well, I'll tell you guys this: when when I left last week, when I left and I, I got home with my daughter, and I, I said, "Hey, did you have a good time?" She goes, "Yes." I was like, well, "What was your favorite part?" And she looked at me. She goes, "Talking to Chuck." Chris and Tom. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the honest to God truth. I swear to God. Oh, uh, that's so, great. Uh, Dude, you, you, and you Gabby was awesome. Her. She was great. <laughs> yeah, she was yeah, cool. Yeah, your daughter's great, man. Took her a minute She's... to open up, but once she did, she was like, she was, she was, oh, yeah. she hey, was all in. Hey, you guys send me your address so I can send you stickers. Oh, that's right. That's right. She really yeah. wanted yeah, yeah. Both, <laughs> both of you send me, send me your address so I can send you stickers. And Bobby, you got to plaster, plaster them all over the place. Yeah, yeah. Plaster them all over. Tag me. So. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, anything, anything you want to say in closing? Because we're 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 go gonna, for it, Bobby. We got to go back Bobby. to brewing yeah, beer. Yeah. Well, all of our guests, we give them an opportunity to spread a message to Raider Nation. So, what is your message, Bobby? I'll let My you take the bulk if you don't mind. Let me just say one thing. Go ahead. I just just don't get depressed when when the Raiders go some, do something crazy during the draft. Don't don't. Jump off the cliff! Don't slit your wrist because right. it didn't go your way. That's my message. But Bobby, make sure you give them the uh, right. how to get a hold of us and all That's that. That's for Paul. <laughs> yeah, definitely. For me, my thing is that I will be there as many times as I can to those games. And the one thing I've said it before is that I don't want to see anybody leave early. I mean, we we're over here complaining about how they're leaving us and they're not going to come back. And now we got them back for one more year, and I don't want to see nobody getting up. And leaving. That's right. That's right. You see that? Even the dog doesn't want to see right. nobody leaving. <laughs> yeah. So that's, that. <laughs> <laughs> so that's definitely my main thing right there. And it's going to get a little bit crazier, but that's that's the way we've always been. You know, we've been a little emotional, but we always come through. We are one nation. We are one family. And just want to let y'all know that you can always get a hold of us as well as at Wolf. Pack Nation One, and that's that's our stuff. We're on what, Stitcher. We're getting on iHeart. We we got all the things. I believe even uh, we even got the, the the SoundCloud too, and all that. So listen to us everywhere that you can. And I want to thank you guys so much, everyone out there in, in the Merce Fan Cave, and especially you guys. And Slatterhead, I'm not sure if I said this, but 
it was funny because I think uh, Ken last time said something about you sounding like a or looking like a hillbilly or something like that. I say you're more of a you're more of a hill William, if anything. You know, a little bit more <laughs> a little bit more fine tuned, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Made yeah. it a little more sophisticated. A hill William. <laughs> like I said, I'm from Salinas. I prefer ghetto Billy, but you know, that's all right. you know, as, as much as Ken says Chuck looks like a hillbilly, it, trust me. He don't look like a we hillbilly. We live amongst hillbillies. We, mo- yeah. we live amongst hillbillies, and Chuck don't look like one of them, man. <laughs> Come on. Bobby, listen, man. I'm wearing a Pendleton right now with a Raiders hat. Does that sound like a damn hillbilly? I got my, I got my that's Chuck. Not, like, you just came out of East Salinas, man. That's right. how, Especially with the Pendleton, bro. I got my Chuck Taylors, my Pendleton, my Raiders hat. That's not a hillbilly attire. No, not at all. <laughs> Hell no. Hell no. That's 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 my clothes right now. That's actually what I'm wearing, if anything. I'm sure it is, man. My wife <laughs> my wife laughs at me all when my son moved out to California, he was like, Oh, finally I understand. Like I, I was I like, why does my dad why does my dad dress anything. like this? Yeah. Why <laughs> Plus, they, they, they used to laugh at me like, Why are your socks so tall? Yeah. I was like, well, Yeah, uh-huh. I ain't never seen a hillbilly up here wear cholo socks, man. I'm They're called cholo that. tights. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. My yeah, wife I, gives me crap. She's yeah, like, I never seen that. Man. Why you why your socks go up to your knees? I'm like, that's how they that's how they do, man. Leave me alone. That's the way I wear my socks. So, because the coat gets cold, that's why. Right. So sometimes you better pull your socks She's up. She's like, Well then put pants on. I'm like, No, I mean I wear them shorts because it's warm. She don't get it. But whatever. <laughs> Hey, you know, thanks for having us, though, Chuck hey. and, and Tom, and give our best to Fitz. Chris, it was nice meeting you in person, man. Yeah, man, that was real. great. It was hey, great man, you guys are great, man. Yep, thanks for coming on, man. Thanks for the time. Right, oh, you guys are the best, man. All right, we'll talk to you guys soon. All right, later, Raider Raiders. 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 Take care, y'all. So that was a good interview, man. It was. It yeah, was those cool. guys were good. Yeah, the Wolfpack's, I, the, the Wolfpack's a pretty, much, pretty cool bunch of guys, man. The, and, the, and the Blitz chick, you know. Yeah, the Canadian from yeah. the crew he messaged me oh okay he's like hey man i couldn't get on i you know i i tried i was like no i go it was you know technical difficulties on our end i was like yeah. whenever i tried calling you it cut the other guys off i'm <laughs> like so should i turn down the fear we're playing in the background <laughs> yeah i guess so <laughs> it's kind of loud in my ears man. yeah <laughs> so uh I uh, I told him I'm like yeah it's a technical difficulties when we tried calling you it cut the other guys off yeah and then we would have to restart yeah and you know what he said what in typical Canadian fashion sorry <laughs> I was like <laughs> sorry eh? sorry like I was like freaking Canadian yeah. I'm like you didn't do anything you didn't do it. what are you sorry yeah, about sorry eh <laughs> you were just waiting for us to call. <laughs> So, BC Raider. You know, you know, if you find a mouse in your Canadians bottle, are always sorry. Yeah, if you find a mouse in your beer bottle, you get a free case. Is it? i seen that in a movie once. Ah. <laughs> Was it the, the real Mackenzie's? Yeah. <laughs> it's strange, bro. Strange got, brew, yeah. Gotta be one of the greatest movies ever Absolutely. Made. Yeah. Yes. But that's funny. You can't drive a truck. Canadians it's, always say sorry. You can't drive a truck. <laughs> what do you mean? It's a beer truck. Why would I crash it? <laughs> <laughs> I love you Canucks, man. Yeah, man. Canucks Some great music right, out of man. there, too. Yeah, exactly. You know, we got yes. uh, DOA. DOA, Dayglow Abortions. No Means No. No Means No. SNFU. Got to give it, yes, give, uh, give it up sacri- to SNFU. Sacrilege. Uh, you know, even going Hanson Brothers, Hanson Brothers, which which is no means no, no means no, yes. But as the Hanson Brothers, yes, great stuff, man. Yes, even going, you know, you know the blueprint kind of for like this epic doom stoner metal that's out now. Are we is like Middle Rush, not yeah. their first two albums, their next four albums. Then they went, eh, you know. But that's kind of the blueprint, man. Well, we got what else? Voivod. That's Voivod. That's Voivod. Canadian Voivod. Too, Killer right? Sacrilege. Yeah. That's, you know. Yeah. Good you stuff, know, man. Great bands, man. Yeah. Yeah. I can't say much about your football. No. Yeah. Your <laughs> football's kind of weird, man. Yeah. You know, especially when Z- Johnny Manziel's a star. That's kind of. Yeah. That's kind of buggy to us. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Ed Schultz. Ed Schultz. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, man. What else we got for the fan club blitz, man? I don't know. We covered um, pretty much all the Raiders. Uh, yeah. Hullabaloo. The Raiders hullabaloo. That, that's been we got going that. on yeah. lately. Um, I don't know. Fitz and uh, Potts took off. Yeah, so. Fitz, yeah Fitz and Potts are gone. Um, they got adulting I, to do. Yeah, they, yeah, they have to, you know. Tend to the wife and children. Yeah, yeah. Potts had to relieve the babysitter. I took Rogers home. Yeah. Ate dinner with the wife. Yes. It's like, going back to Tom's. Yeah. And finished cooking it's, beer. Uh, Rogers is cool. He could have stayed. Yeah. <laughs> Rogers is great. I'll bring him next time. Yeah. You know, I could have found something to feed him. Yeah, I can all, <laughs> I'll always bring Rogers now because yeah. he don't want to be home alone. No. Nah, he's cool. So... Um, I don't know what else we got. What else is out there in Raider Nation? Give us a I call. Know. Tell us. I know what we do have. What? We have a voicemail. Oh, there we go. Somebody did call. Yeah, we got a voicemail here. All right, cool. Let's see what let's see what it says. Hey guys, long time listener, first time caller. This is Central Valley Raider calling you out of the five five nine. Hey guys, um couple questions. One uh, I've seen the Raiders just sign left tackle and a wide receiver. I'm assuming we are going to be addressing the offense and free agency and in the draft. Hopefully it's defense. Um, you know, we're spending a lot of money. It's funny on Twitter, people are complaining like it's coming out of their personal accounts. <laughs> um, so yeah, I guess my really, question is, really is really now that Reggie McKenzie is gone, uh, you know, he was the, he was the brainchild, I guess you would say, of getting us back in order getting a structure when it came to dead money, losing good players because we couldn't afford. And there was that time, I believe, believe right before Reggie got there, we had the Michael Huffs. We had just a bunch of castaway guys that were getting fat bank. And we couldn't do anything about it because if we kept them or we cut them, we're looking at $13 million hit, you know, the type where they're getting paid by one team and they're still getting a check from the Raiders. I guess my thing I'm getting to, man, is do we have another? Is Mayock? He's a draft guru. What do you think is happening when they're when they're spending four years, six, you know, sixty six million on these left tackles? So nobody's mentioned that. Uh, that was my concern, I guess. And then my other question is, looking to go up to that Jets game when they play the Raiders next season. All right. And uh, yeah. you know. Name me if you guys got in the area five five local bars. I'm a craft beer drinker myself. Name me five areas that maybe I can uh, uh, attend while I'm there in New York. I mean, there's so much to do, man. It's a beautiful, beautiful state, beautiful city. So, anyways, all right, guys, keep up the great work. I'm out. All right. Well, I'll tell hey, you man, what. We'll thanks, do you. Man. We'll do you one better. Yeah. We'll take you to five. We'll, we'll take you to five places. We'll take you to five yeah. places, and we'll, we'll get we'll get you some great local Jersey beer. Yeah, you you can get Jersey beer, Jersey distilleries where we are, and we'll get you great Jersey food. Too. Yeah, man. We'll yeah. we'll we'll treat you right. Yeah. You you and the crew, man. Yeah. But I I got to start off by saying, unless. Uh, Unless there are more than one Central Valley Raider, I believe <laughs> technically that was your third call. Okay. <laughs> so, first time caller, you've called before. In fact, you called twice in one day. So we'll just call it two calls. Yeah. But but uh, yeah. keep them coming, man. Yeah, that's you're awesome. Cool, though. We yeah. will we will we will introduce you to some great Jersey beers yes. when you when you get out here. So yes. stay stay in touch. Reach out to us. And we'll uh, we'll make sure that uh, that you're treated properly. Yeah. And as for the question you're talking about with like fat contracts and stuff, I think Reggie had the foresight to sign a lot of these guys. Where if you had to get rid of them, it wasn't going to cost a boatload of money. I mean, uh, you're looking at uh, who who do we trade trade to the Jets? Osamel. Yeah, Osamelie. Uh, yeah. yeah, so what that cost, that cost is less than $10 million to get rid of him. You know, I think Reggie had the foresight to see that. And based on, I mean, it's, you, you got to pay. If you, want the, if, if you want the stars and you want the performers, you're going to have to pay. So, you know, Brown's getting the money, you know. Well, 
Mayock, yeah. Mayock's coming into a completely different situation than yeah. Reggie had. Reggie was coming into a situation to where we were screwed. Yeah, and he had and to he, get rid of a lot of crap. And he yes, that's fixed what I'm, it. That's what I'm saying. He yeah. fixed it, and then when he went forward, he had the foresight to build into these contracts that if we're trading you or getting rid of you, it's not going to kill the organization. Right. And, 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 you know, cap space and stuff. So... And now we have, we're in a situation now to where we can we can drop coin on these guys. Yeah. Especially on some of these, you know, we're yes. bringing in guys on one year deals. Yeah, and, you're looking at, a, you know, aside from the big contracts that got handed out. Right, and which is basically Brown yeah. and uh, um, and Brown. Yeah, Brown and Brown. <laughs> you know, but you know, you're looking at a lot of guys. One year, two year deals, not a lot of money. You know, there's right. there, there's not a lot of not a lot of stock built into our contracts. So, it, you know, a, a lot of these guys may not even make it to opening. You know, to the True. first game, right? You know, and that's the truth. Yeah, you know. So. Yep. But anyway, man, Central Valley Raider, thank you for the call. Yeah, and, man. Uh, like I said, stay in touch, man, because we'll we'll take yeah. care of you out yeah. here in Jersey. Yeah. We're, we'll hook, we're we're gonna have a hell of a party. Yeah, we'll hook you up. Man. We're gonna have a hell of a party leading up to the Jets game. Yeah, and and at the Jets game. Yeah, the tailgate's gonna you know we're gonna do it right. So yeah. you know we'll make you feel like you're home. Yep, make you feel like you're at the Coliseum. Sure, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you'll deal with it. Yeah, we'll have some you, shots of tequila and some yeah. beers flowing and yep. some nice. Uh, we. Uh, Oh, you know, we're gonna do it a little different out here because we, uh, you know, it's Jersey, so we gotta, yeah, we gotta hold that down. Yeah, so food's a little different. Food's a little different. We're not yeah. doing carne asada. We're doing, no. uh, you know, pasta, yeah. lasagna, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, and dirty, dirty yeah. water hot dogs. Yeah, dirty water dogs, maybe sausage and peppers. Yeah, you, stuff you gotta, like that. Yeah, we'll, you know, we'll get you Since some it's stuff early in the morning. Maybe we will even get some like. Taylor egg and cheese on bagels, man. Yeah, we'll get you guys some stuff that you've never had that yeah. you ain't never gonna have. Exactly. We'll get some nice bagels. Yeah. We'll uh, might even yeah. throw in some black and white cookies. Sure. Yeah, exactly. You know. There you go. Jersey stuff. <laughs> get you a buttered roll too. Yeah, buttered roll. <laughs> a buttered roll for and a ride to the and stadium a, and a regular coffee to and start a you off. Regular coffee. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> All right, man. I got. I. I don't have anything else, man. I, I don't have nothing else either. All right, I think we're good. Yeah, we're cool. All right, fan club blitz. All right, later, skaters. Spothead Tom signing off. Bye. All right, uh, this is Tom. I guess uh, we're going to be wrapping up our show here. Um, if you have any questions for me, or you want to call in and uh, talk about anything you want on uh, the Raider Fan Club Blitz, um, our number is seven three two. Seven nine eight zero two five seven. Feel free. Ask me about Mr. Skittles. I love Mr. Skittles. Um, we're also going to give a shout out to the Irish Cottage, uh, our home base. They are located at six zero two Route twenty three North in Franklin, New Jersey, and their number is nine seven three eight two seven two zero nine zero. And, uh, give us a call. Let us know what you think. Questions, comments, anything you want to say. Feel free. Talk to you next week. Well, we've Bye. been finishing the fan club play. We've been recording for three hours now. <laughs> we'll just keep going. <laughs> Pots is fired. I got two hours of crap to erase now. <laughs> really? <laughs> Potsy, <laughs> Potsy didn't shut the tape off, so it's been running the whole time we've been brewing beer. Yeah. <laughs> Chuck even went home, had dinner with his wife, and came back. That might have been me, because I was here for the interview. It's the last thing we did. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, okay. Nah, Potts is still fired. We yeah, blame Potts yeah, anyway. Potts. He's yeah. the producer. Yeah, he's a jerk.